Okay, so now that I've kind of gone through and put in, modeled all of these um, these kind of pieces and parts in here, these are uh, these are basically all just extrusions and sweeps um, throughout the entire thing. Um, so just using those same tools as we were using to build the the cabinetry and that sort of stuff to kind of go through and put in the the kind of barn door here, the ladder, the ra uh, the kind of paneled rail up there, um, and a couple of different sets of cabinetry here. Um, the one thing that I did do um, is because these are just model in place families, you can input different parameters and stuff into them, uh, same as you would if you were modeling a family um, outside and then bringing it into uh, this, like kind of like we did with the with the windows, where we can turn the the muttons on and off and um, and kind of set different parameters for those. Uh, I did that with this. Um, uh, set of cabinetry over here so basically what I did was I have this table that is folded down and then when it's I want to be able to show it folded down and folded up so if I click on this I have this visibility parameter where I can just check these on and off so if I check the table down off and check the table up on then it'll change and it brings in the chairs and the, the little tabletop flipped up and all of that sort of stuff. So um, I can control that sort of stuff pretty easily just by, by creating visibility parameters in here um, for that sort of thing. Uh, the other view, let's see, um, over here. So I've got another set of cabinetry. This is uh, kind of behind the view that we were just looking at here. Uh, this other set of cabinetry, what I did was I want this to actually fold down into a bed. Um, and I've got this division line here. So basically as this folds down, this part will fold out and become the, the leg for the, um, for the bed to kind of rest on. So if I click this and actually turn that piece on, now the bed folds down and I've got my little kind of mattress sort of thing sitting here. Um, so I can control all those kind of pieces and parts as I want. Um, I, it'll show up in plan, so if I actually want to see uh, kind of how that stuff works out in plan, um, I can come in here and actually grab this and, and turn that on um, and see kind of how that looks in, in plan as well. Um, so same thing with the, this piece over here. I can turn that table on with the chairs and show it in a couple different capacities. So I might also change this to 45 degree swing angle, that way it doesn't get into this um, little piece here. Um, so little things like that can, can help just build in some uh, different kind of functionality to your, to your model. Um, that way you, you can show a couple different things within one model rather than modeling that up and then having to do something else as a workaround uh, to show it down or show the extent of it and that sort of thing. So um, you can create a couple different views and just turn that on and off. Um, so as far as other things that um, that I've modeled in here, let's turn this off so it's not in the way. Um, so I've got all of my kind of casing um, and interior trim in here. So you'll see I've got uh, baseboard running around. Uh, all this is is a sweep. Um, so if we go to the floor plan and look at that, um, basically the sweep is just this path. So I've sketched this path and then a profile drawn on it of baseboard and then I can just piece in uh, baseboard kind of here. I've got a little bit over there. Um, I've got some that runs around here and into the cabinet. Um, and then around over here. Uh, I've also got some casing around the windows. That's just a sweep as well. Uh, then the sill is a combination of a, an actual extrusion for the sill itself and then the molding underneath it um, that you can see in this view here. Um, this is basically just a sweep um, as well. So all of those little pieces and parts start to kind of build the model up into um, a more kind of complete picture of what we're after um, and gets us all those little um, little details that'll create a much kind of nicer rendering because 
we've created some custom details and some uh, kind of different features um, throughout the entire thing. So I just wanted to kind of go through uh, those real quick and kind of show the different um, things that I've got here uh, and make sure that um, you could see exactly kind of how I built each individual thing. Um, obviously, this is just a bunch of kind of extrusions um, and revolves and, uh, and sweeps as well uh, to get the, the kind of barn door um, component by itself. Um, I could also make this particular piece have a visibility parameter where maybe I have it closed in one and then um, and then have it open in another where it's actually slid behind where the the ladder is um, so little little details like that can be can be helpful um, what I basically created here is this entire wall is this is all the stone that's going to be on this wall and then I've got a kind of beam that runs across where the stone will die into up above that'll be the transition point um, for the for the second floor um, but in terms of just modeling individual uh, pieces and parts it's all the exact same thing as uh, what we went through with the uh, cabinetry um, kind of parts so you know you've got your extrusions you've got a uh, little if you need voids you can you can void things out like we did with the raised panel door um, all of that sort of stuff uh, is pretty easy and simple to to build up um, as you do it more and more you'll get quicker and quicker at it and then it won't take too terribly long to to input all of that stuff um, I think from start to finish the two sets of cabinetry the barn door and all of this sort of stuff um, I think it probably took me about an hour and a half, something like that, uh, to get all of this sort of stuff in there. So once you've done it enough times, um, you can kind of crank some stuff out pretty quick and build, a, build in quite a bit of um, detail and function into your, into your model. That can be pretty helpful. Um, so the next thing that we're going to kind of get into are interior finishes. So starting to, to put in some, uh, some materials and stuff. Um, that'll kind of start to make this make this look a little bit a um, little bit more refined, a little bit more complete. So that'll be the next thing.